Obuefezani. You are the chief priest of Ogama dynasty. And I am the king. Both of us are serving the land in different offices. I am not comfortable the way you are looking at me. I am not at all. Ascension into the throne of Ugama dynasty follows the pattern. Of course, I know all those details. Which is that when the king dies, his son, mainly his eldest son, will be crowned the king of Ugama dynasty. So why are you making references to the pattern of ascension to the throne of Ugama dynasty? You have two sons. Twins. As of today, we still don't know who is the head and who is the tail. Ask yourself. Find out who is head and who is tail among your sons. Time is not to your side. My friends, the people, they are complaining. They were complaining so seriously. In fact, they said they don't understand the meaning of ego budo. Can you imagine that? They don't understand. Yes. Okay. Make them understand. And if they still do not understand, let them leave the dynasty. Okay? You see, I am the prince of Ugama. It is expedient. In fact, it is important that the citizens pay taxes. So the palace. <laughs> 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 that is me, the true son of his father. Oh my God. Mm -hmm. You are the man. I am the man to beat in this kingdom. Any time, any day. You see, the people must appreciate me. And if they fail to appreciate me, if they choose not to appreciate me, <laughs> they have just chosen their path to destruction. Your Highness, are you aware that people are beginning to make comparison between you and your brother? Meaning? I don't understand how that bothers you, Zenwa. How does it bother you? I mean, people will quite naturally talk about you even when you were doing it right or doing it wrong. Definitely. I don't care about what anyone says about me. I don't care what they talk about me. What is important, Ezenwa, is that what belongs to me, in terms of payment, is given to me. Definitely. And even, <laughs> and even, when people are not talking about you, it simply means you are nobody. You are useless. <laughs> That's what it means. <laughs> and on that note, I think the time is ripe for me to tell you what I've been thinking. Ah. Definitely. Very important. Let me hear it. The people of Ubwen, have been fetching water freely from our Ogama lake. Hmm. In fact, they now behave as if the lake is their lake. And I wonder why. Hmm. So I am thinking that we should place them on taxes. That they must pay to us the very moment they fetch from Ogama lake. Even if it's only one part they fetch, they will pay tax on it. Oji, yes. what do you mean by placing the people of Ubeni on taxes? Revenue. Do you ever realize that we share the same ancestral root with them? Hey, hold, hold it, hold it there. Hold it right there. Hold it, hold it. Oji here is making a very important point about how we can generate money, how we can generate, generate revenue for the palace. And you are here talking about ancestors? I mean, what business do ancestors have with we're making money and generating revenue. I, I understand, Your Highness. But whatever we are planning must be in line with the established norms of our people. Oh, this is the norms. We cannot afford to place the people of Ubeni on taxes. Why? People are beginning to be angry with us. They are beginning to get angry with us. Hmm? We cannot just afford to place them on taxes just for fetching water on the Gama River. It is equally their lake. Yeah. As anyone. On this note, I want you to shut up. Thank you very much, my friends. 
The fact that you are sitting with us here does not make your opinion count over that of the prince. I am the prince of Ugama. Uh, oh, is there any legislation that I'm no more the prince? There is no legislation at all, my prince. And even as the has no, he has no opinion, how can he say that, you, that, that our Ugama lake is not the Ubuni lake? I'm sorry, your highness. But, but uh, shut up. Shut up. Okay, you pass the information, spread the information, tell the boys we are starting the generation of revenue from that Ugama lake immediately. And that is final. Serious money is coming. Mm. Ah, we bow in greetings. My prince. It shall be well with you, my prince. It shall be well with the maidens of Ugama Kingdom. Say. May the ancestors lead you home in peace. Say. Go well, my prince. Think come out. Now let's go. Three of you are maidens of Ubene. I know that much. And I'm going to ask you a very simple question and I want you to answer me sincerely. The water you are carrying, where did you fetch the water from? What kind of question is this? We freely fetch water from the lake and we are going back to our home in Ubene. So automatically you believe in your widest imagination that the lake you fetch from doesn't belong to any people. It's just a free lake where you can go and fetch freely and go back to your land. Please, I want you to understand that this is water we are carrying here. And you don't expect us to stand here with pots of water on our head. Hey, hey, it's not possible. Hey. Okay, okay. Um, seems you're not understanding what you're saying. Huh? Let me bring it to you directly. Asin, let me break it down for you. Hmm? Mm. This is our lake. One. And if you people from Ubene, I mean you maidens from Ubene, we go with this water, eh? One thing is sure, you will give us what? We don't have money. We don't have any money. Are you out of your mind? The men of Ugama are demanding payment for maidens of Ubene. For fishing water from Ugama. Listen to me. Our condition is very simple because we are noble men. You need this water, no problem. Give us money and you live with the water. If you don't want to give us the money, then you pour the water here and go without the water. The truth of the matter is that you must pay us before you live with the water. It is called water living. It is now very compulsory. From today, compulsory. What is happening here? What is happening here? I can see that the men are holding the maidens captive. So tell me what? Is their offense. I know me. I know you. But what is going on here is a meeting. There is no captive, there is no blockade. This is the road to your house. I know you. Just go back to your house. Leave us alone. There is no meeting going on. This, they blocked us here to, to, to pay water levy. Water levy? Yes. Adobe, which one is water levy? Shut up there. <laughs> Shut up. You're asking the same questions. In fact, let me just break it down for you. This is Ogama Lake and Ogama Lake is the lake that our ancestors left for us. It's our lake! And the people of Ugele cannot just come here and fetch water freely without paying anything because we need to clean this water now. Every day we are cleaning and I 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 and I
this roadblock is illegal. And as for your so-called water levy demand, it's criminal. Oshi! 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 Am I the one you are calling illegal and criminal? Yes. And if you're not afraid, let your feet and touch me. Let your hand touch me. Look at this man. Imagine this mugger. You men are the reason why people refuse to come to Ugama to pick their wives. Because you always look for cheap ways of collecting cheap money from people. Oh Oh Hi! You men have Oh gee, listen. You men have But I don't be the granddaughter of Chinedi Yobaba. Has taught you people manners. How am I sure you are not the one that sent me? No, why are you insulting me? It's possible. It's possible. I said, what will you do? Huh? I thought you're not afraid. Why didn't you touch her when she was leaving? Let her father, who is still alive, the head of Obambada in Ogama Kingdom, he would have destroyed you. Keep looking for taxes you will collect. Very soon. Very, very soon. You will be collected in the process. You are the very woman that delivered my wife of these two sons. And I want to know. Which of them came first? Who is the head? I showed your wife the one that came first and the one that followed. The woman is always the one who gave this information. Are you telling me that your wife did not identify them to you before she died? Well, um... <clears throat> I won't blame her because it was entirely my fault. From the very beginning, I fell in love with Obelonama. When I came to see them where they were kept as newborn babies, he smiled at me and I gave him the name Obelonama. His brother was sleeping like a woman, and I named him Ono Soleze. And since he grew up, he has been behaving like that, like a woman. Easy going and very gentle. I know that Obelonama is the head. I just want you to confirm it to me. Surely you know that you cannot rely on who smiled and who slept to decide who is the head and the tail. You need to be sure. <coughs> when are you going to stop walking like a commoner? and understand you are the son of a king. I don't know what you mean by walking like a commoner. <clears throat> so what do you mean? Uh, let me break it down for you. Do you know how much you've made already from TAS? I mean, TAS is today. You can't make it in a week. You can't make it in a week. Just cut all this your hunting thing and join us. Do you know the difference between the man that succeeded and the man that failed? Some may say luck. But I tell you, there's nothing like luck. 
The difference is in the application of common sense. Learn to apply common sense so that you don't see yourself fighting with your chi. Oh, no, 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 no. Wait, no, Celeste, wait. Oh, shut up. That I elected not to elevate and carry myself like royalty does not dilute the fact that I am Prince Ono Soleze. It is not right for you to address me just as Ono Soleze. Give respect to whom it's due so that the people coming behind you will learn to respect you too. <clears throat> oh, 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 okay, please. Your Highness, wait. That's better. Or may I help you? Thank you. Thank you very much. Um, we would love to partner with you. We would love to work with you closely. Because we don't like this arrangement that only your brother works with us. So I... I don't know how you, you see it. What you do is contrary to my orientation in life. Credible leaders do not feed fat on commoners. Credible leaders feed the people around them. If you want to work with me, you're welcome. But it means that you will be ready to work hard. Is there a way you can explain that rubbish you told him? No, who told you that I want to work with him? No, who told you that I want to be a hunter? How much does he have? How much is he making? Oh, oh, you wait. Oh, you wait. I didn't mean to follow him. I wanted to get one thing straight. I didn't mean to follow him. I was only trying to, you know, lure him to partner with us in what we do. That is it. I, 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 he's the only one that brought the idea of this hunting thing and all that. I didn't want to do that. That's better. Because I was actually surprised. <laughs> that is nothing there. Just yeah. wanting to partner with us. What are we hunting for? <laughs> Why can't I be allowed to rely on my instinct? Huh? I bow myself before my father. Eze Ibonze of Ugama Kingdom. You're welcome. May you live long, my father. I already perceived the aroma of the meat, and I know you're welcome. I've come to tell you that it's ready, and I've served it in your heart. Anytime you want to retire, you will retire to a decent meal. Thank you, Your Majesty. Uh, please come back. No, so let's just sit down. I want to have a word with you. I'm seated, Your Majesty. Um, between you and your brother, Belnama, who would you say is the senior? I don't have any answer to that question, Your Majesty. Because I know we are twins, and twins are of the same age. This is a general statement. I want us to be specific. Now tell me, between you and your brother Obialonamma, who is the head? Your Majesty, if I must be very sincere with you, I don't know who is the head. my presence. Leave! Are you angry? 
agree with me? My father. This kingdom will be reduced to a mere playground where women will come around to gossip or play if you are allowed to become the king. Yes, you are simply a weakling. Your Majesty, countless number of times I've come face to face with the beasts that devour and I never ran away from any of them. Significantly, I killed all of them. Your son, Onosoleze, can never be described as a weakling. I shall not forget all that. Oh, girl, in a <laughs> Your Majesty, Your Majesty. <laughs> the son of the king. That is me. That is me, Your Majesty. <laughs> is he? Bones. You're welcome, sir. The only king who knows what he wants and also knows how to get it. That's me. Oh, what? Your <laughs> You're welcome, sir. Please sit down. Thank you. Sit down, sir. I, I know that. Uh, yes. Your Majesty doesn't just call, except there is something. Um, may I know why your majesty called me? Yes, um, you are very correct, son. Ubuwe Fiazani, the chief priest of Ogama, was here a few days ago. And he came in connection with the throne. And so, I called you to ask you what you think about it. Your Majesty, the throne. Ah, Your Majesty, you are still seated on the throne. I don't think anyone should be discussing the throne. He came in connection with the ascension. He wants me to name who will be the crown prince of Ogama and uh, the heir apparent of uh, our kingdom. Your Majesty, should, should, should that be a problem? It shouldn't be a problem. You simply tell him that I am the crown prince and the heir apparent to the throne. <laughs> except, Your Majesty, except you are considering Anasuleze ahead of me. Um, let me ask you this very important question. Between you and your brother Onosoleze, who would you say is the senior? <laughs> I don't I don't need to tell you, Your Majesty. No one needs to tell you that I am the head. I am the superior one to Onosoleze. I am his elder brother. <laughs> Anosuleze is a weakling. He is lily livered. You know, my boys who helped me run around, you know, for the kingdom administration confronted him today. Your Majesty, do you know the report that they came back with? What? <laughs> they said, Anosuleze is a woman. <laughs> so I am the man of Bialunam, the one that is fit to be the king. <laughs> Your Majesty. I like this. I like your confidence. This is good. Now, if I may ask you, apart from this, what other concrete plans do you have for Ogama dynasty if you eventually become the king? Ah, Your Majesty, that has been clearly laid out. The focal point will be to make Ogama the superior kingdom above all others and they must respect it. That is why. And Your Majesty, you are doing very well. 
I will follow your footsteps and improve on those things that you're already doing. <laughs> and above all, your majesty, Ugam shall be very great. <laughs> your majesty. <laughs> That's my turn. I am happy. Please, as you leave here, go straight to my hut. You will see the meat your brother served me. Take it. Go and enjoy it. Hmm? Thank you very much, but go ahead. Enjoy your meat. Because the woman also served me some meat. So, since he is good at serving meat, uh, we should be good at consuming it. <laughs> Father, I told my friend already that the jobless boys are showing themselves because the elders refuse to stop them. Even you, my father, refuse to do something about it. Why? I don't view my daughter. I want you to always remember that I'm one of the men that sit in council. I would not like us to be discussing the king and his family. I am sorry, father. But we are not just discussing them. We are talking about our town, our dynasty. A lot of things are going wrong. It's not right. It's not right at all. Adobe, go back to your room and sleep. I've heard what you said. Hmm? When we gather before the throne as Ndio Gianni, we shall discuss the way forward. Inugo? surprise at all. My father is sounding like one of those men that have been born. It will be very bad. I have not been bought and you know that nobody can buy me. Eh? The topic here is the royal family and the actions of the prince. Not the prince's brother. We are talking of Obi Alunama only. His activities with the boys would destroy this town. We are saying the same thing. Hmm? In this kingdom, men do not gather to discuss the royal family. Enuvia. A friend of mine told me that if you bear his son, that he would become the king. Why would you involve yourself with such discussion? Maidens of Ugama are not supposed to discuss anything that has to do with the throne and its ascension. I know, mother, but Brother Soleze and Brother Dialonama are twins. Both of them are of the same age, and it means they cannot emerge as king. My mother should be the one to bear the king. In fact, my friend also told me that I should have become the next king if I was a man. I'm gonna listen to me and listen attentively. Let this be the last time that you will ever bring up this issue. And let it also be the last time that you will sit down with your friends to discuss anything that has to do with the throne or who sits on the throne. These are things that have to do with men. You are not a man. So do not involve yourself with issues or affairs of men. Gunna, my beautiful sister. How are you? I'm fine, brother. My queen, Egadio, you will live long to enjoy your sweat. And so shall it be with you. As you have taken me as your mother, even though I'm not your biological mother, I pray that you will be blessed with a woman who will give you peace. You shall live long to enjoy your sweat too. He say. I brought this for you. <laughs> if you continue giving us meat like this every other night, you won't have enough quantity to sell. The ones I bring home are the ones I want the family to enjoy. The ones I want to sell, I don't bring home. I prepared this for you and my beautiful sister. Thank you. Thank you so much. 
You're welcome. Thank you so much, brother. Thank you. I'll see you in the morning. He's such a nice and wonderful man. He's, he's the kind of man that any woman would want to keep as hers. I pray that he finds a good woman to marry. Yes, mother. He will surely find a good woman. And he will continue to know peace for the remaining days of his life. <laughs> um, this inside. Okay, mother. See, eh? I want us to understand something very important. There is money in this business. Understand it? Only yesterday we made the kind of money that even good traders do not make in one day. I am aware of that, Ochi. I am aware of that. But do you also realize that this lake Without this lake, who many people would die? Yeah, of course I know. Thank you. Do you also realize that this is the only source of water they have? And what about that? Then why would they always pay any time they come here to fetch water? You are asking me a question you have answered already. This lake is the only source of water they have. And it automatically means that every day, who many people must come to fetch water from the lake. And any day they fetch from the lake, they must drop money. It means we are involved in a business that has no end. Business that will continue and continue and continue. You should be happy that we are involved in an endless business. Look, I'm not comfortable here. Are you sure we are not going to be in trouble if we do this? Why are you asking nonsense? How can you be in trouble? We did this yesterday, we are you in trouble? No. And we are back today. You should be hoping that we are going to make more money today than we made yesterday. That should be your concern. And, 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 and what exactly are you planning to do? I don't get it. No, are you trying to pass as if you didn't see men that are standing here? And who are you? Huh? Wait, wait, wait. You see men standing here and you're asking us who are you? you? You want to know us? No, do you want to know us? Now listen. I'm aware that you blocked this road yesterday and was collecting money from my people for fetching from the lake. Uh -huh. This is our lake. This is our lake. Listen, do you want to listen to us or do you want... Or do you want to see us? <laughs> I'm going to close my eyes for a moment. And I want you all to grow wings and fly away like birds. If I open my eyes and you are still here... Oh no, mama, mama. Oh no, mama, mama. If you choose to test my resolve, I will divorce you. I will divorce you. Now, I'm going to close my eyes. I think we should run. Don't stand each other. Run from here. Look at what you have. I don't get to keep. Now, follow your son. Run from this one, man. My friend, open your eyes. Come on. 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 Let's go, let's go. Uh -huh. Yo, don't mind them. What, what would I be doing inside your heart? Oh, you never grew up. You never want to grow up. Always asking questions. You want to know what I'll do inside? Why don't you come in? Come in and see what I want to do. Do you realize that I am your father's wife? And as such that 
I am a mother to you. You fail to realize that you are not a mother to me. You are not my mother. You are only a beautiful woman that my father married. <laughs> now listen, my father is an old man. You know that. I am young. I am Opialunam with the original thing. <laughs> I came to your hut this morning to advise you. You want to advise me? Okay, so what's, what's the advice? Increasing number of people are complaining that you are intimidating them with your voice. You should learn that you are a pro model. And be careful of the kind of things you do. Wait, hold on. An increasing number of people. Who are these people? People from this land. They are pointing accusing finger at the king. And that king is my husband. I don't like it. Uh, let me explain something to you and to these people. As soon as my father drops dead, I will be crowned the king. Are you aware of that? <laughs> well, I am not aware of that because my husband, the king, has not chosen his successor. He has not told you. You know why he has not told you? He has not told you because you are a woman. Oh, yes. And I am going to tell you, if he drops dead, I am not just going to become the next king. I am also going to inherit all of his inheritance. <laughs> I will take over his OG, his offer, his Ikenga, and of course, <laughs> Listen, my father is an old man. I am going to take over you. And knowing that I am going to take over you, why don't we just start doing what we know we are definitely going to do? You know your problem. You never listen to advice. You are a role model. And whatever life you live affects people that are watching you. Learn. <laughs> what did you do to this woman that she sticks with? You are the chief priest of our land, and I know that you are the one keeping the port of Ogamabia. My life and my first son's life is caged in that port. I have come to collect it. I want the port. If I give you the port of Ogamabia, what are you going to do with it? I will take the port to Odunze, the seer of Ubele. He will tell me among my sons whose life is caged with mine in that port. You don't need the seer of Ubele or the seer of any land to ascertain who is the head or who is tell. You are the one who told me that the matter is urgent. So why are you not taking it easy with me? Why? Ngwangwa is still alive. She is the nurse that delivered your late wife of the twins. Go to her. She will tell you who is the head and who is the third. I have already discussed with Ngwangwa. And according to her, I will have to wait until the moon comes out. 
If she already says so, let us wait for the full moon. Anything that is hidden can be unmasked. Ask yourself to find out who is head and who is still among your sons. Time is not on your side. I just cannot believe what I am hearing. I cannot believe this. That the four of you were overpowered by just one man from Ubene clan. One fighter. Your Highness, if sincerely we intend to continue with this our revenue drive, then we have to get some chance. Simple. Charms? What in the world would you be doing with charms? Your Highness, I was the one that experienced this punch. Because I was the one that confronted this man. This fighter of women. All these people that are here. All of them, they stayed back. I was the one that confronted this man. And I was the one that experienced the punch. Only one punch from this man of Uber. And I, I was seeing all the dead men that died several years ago here in Ugam. All of them res resurrected and they were looking at me. And do you want me to believe that? You don't have any other option than to believe. Because I was the one that experienced the punch. This fighter from Uber, he was not fighting as an ordinary individual. He was fighting with arms. And if we intend to continue making money from this Awari Benu Drive, we, ha we have to make money available to go and get superior charms from somewhere. That's the way forward. In fact, the only way forward. Um, you come. I know you wouldn't lie to me. Were there charms that were used today? To be sincere, Your Highness, there was nothing like charms. Oji, that we should run. Because the fighter of Ubini had super muscle. He refused and challenged the muscle man. He should even count himself lucky that he's still alive. What's that name of yours again? On your middle your highness. No, no, no. That is not your name. You should be called Fool. Your Highness, you're calling me a fool? Yes, you are a fool. Because if you were not a fool, you wouldn't have encouraged him to run away when he was supposed to be fighting. Your Highness, I believe it takes only a fool to see death and walk towards it. But I'm sorry, I'm not a fool, Your Highness. What, what am I going to do to this fool who mortgaged, who destroyed my revenue drive mission? Who? 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 What, what am I going to do? It all boils down to what I have been saying. We are not doing the right thing. And we must have to start in time to be mindful of what we do. Our people are not happy with us. And we just cannot continue like this. Do you know why I am looking at you? I, I am I'm looking at you and I'm, I'm trying to analyze the rubbish. The rubbish that is coming out from your mouth. Who are you working for? Are you working for me or are you working for my enemy? I am a man of Ogama. A man that follows his conscience. Oji here called it charms. And he's even planning to go and get a superior charm. But I saw no charm. It was the gods that used a fighter from Ubene to teach us some lesson that we cannot fight the people of Ubene. They are our brothers, and we share the same roots. <coughs> did he? Uh, are you did ready? He you, are the, you are the only reason I've been convicting myself. Uh, 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 my prince, my prince, my prince. If you ask me, I will say that it sense in what is in what just said now. Because this is the first time, I mean, the first time in my entire life that I saw fight and Enough. And it is possible that this man from Ubene is fighting with the assistance of the gods. It's possible. Tell me. Look at me very well. I am the heir apparent to the throne. I am the next king in line. The gods 
do not fight an incoming king. But do you understand? Do you understand? Yes, my friends. Get out of my sight. Now tell me what you want me to give to you. I want you to appear before the elders tomorrow and tell all and sundry that Obialnama is the head. Why would the king want me to make the pronouncement when I am not sure? Eh? You should concern yourself with what I feel or what I want. I am the king and I know my very son that I want to be on the throne. The full moon will be revealed in a couple of days from today. As I speak to you, a meeting has been fixed tomorrow in the palace. And all the elders will attend that meeting. I equally want you to attend the meeting. Just do that as a favor to me. Tell all and sundry tomorrow that Obialunama is the head of the twins. I am going to buy three cows for you, seven rams, and a basket of dry fish. And I tell you, from that moment you make that proclamation, you will live like a queen. Consider this offer. He introduced himself as the common king. What about it? He is a prince, and he can always be the king. Look, we all know that he has not been declared the crown prince yet. All the land that are waiting for the king to make the declaration. Yes, he refused to make it. Why would he say he's the one? Do you know what? Um, there's something I want to understand from you. No, are you telling me to my face that you have something against he's been declared the crown prince? I don't have anything against him. But what I'm saying, he has to wait until that declaration is made. You should not say, no, he's not sure of. Listen, watch. <clears throat> and then. Uh, um, we are just wasting time. I mean, we are just wasting time here. SM1 has just made a remarkable statement before he walked out. Exactly. And I was even thinking, the reason why we are here, we are here to discuss and to deliberate on what he said. Mm. Than standing here and be saying all this about uh, uh, Amanama and all that. Now, why don't you listen to me? Listen to me, because if I leave you, you may continue. As far as I'm concerned, as one is a fool. He's a very big fool. And we are not going to make SM1 relevant in this land by staying here, discussing whatever thing SM1 said. What did he say? Rebbe SM1? No, who is SM1? We cannot dismiss what he said as nothing. Because he has a point. Do you know what? It is even good that both of you are already seated. You can, you can as well continue sitting down here, discussing, arranging, planning, deliberating on what SM was said. As of me, I have something important to do in town. I cannot stay here talking about SM1. And, and I'm going to He's following up your number like a blind man. No ego is too much. No ego is not too much. You said with your own mouth that it is big. If I take this meat now to the market in Umo of our world, get more than that. To tell you that I want to buy this, let me give you Oruego Nili. To tell you that I'm very serious. I told you no ego because I want to sell. I'm not a man of many words. If you and not pay what I told you. I have no other option than to ride my bicycle to Nkwa Market. I, I don't know why men of this kingdom, you people love money so much. Please, your own, the men of your kingdom, you don't like money, you joke with it. No ego or leave me to go. Hold on. Just wait. Mm. Yeah. Let me have it. But one more thing. My name is Uzo Wulu. Anytime you enter a Mapo Kingdom, locate me. I will always buy any meat you have. 
men of flame bow. So you know what is good. Why were you rising like that? People, you don't expect me to give you umego like that. I have to price it. Let me have this meat. Mm, I hold it. Take it easy. Cut it from here. That's a big one. Remember what I told you? Always find a way to locate me in Ebaku Kingdom. Bossianita. I'm trying to wear it. Very big one. I humble myself before the king and elders in Kanzo. You are welcome, Ungwe. Gonye Chili, Yazelun. You are welcome, Ungwe. You are welcome, I am happy that you finally made it. Yes, you already know why we've all gathered here. Please, guide the throne. I told the king already that the information will come with the full moon. I'm sorry, Ngwangwa. We cannot just wait for the full moon to come. You already told me the revelation about the smiling prince. Now please tell us who the smiling prince is. We want to know who the smiling prince is because he is the crown prince and the heir apparent to the truth. The revelation as regards to the smiling and the sleeping prince, it's not mine. And I can't dwell on that. The declaration is attached to the zodiac sign, which will come with the full moon. I'm sorry, Elder St. Council. If the right prince must be named, then we wait until the appearance of the full moon. Is he? Is he? I don't know why nobody is seeing what I'm saying. It is written everywhere that there was an effort to catch the conscience of that woman. Yes, there was an effort. I just thank the gods that that woman stood her ground. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Hey, Are you walking out on the king? You are a chameleon. The meeting reconvenes in Fumo, and I will be back here by then. Eganyun too. Please, please, Mama, wait, 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 please. I knew that someone was following me. What is it? Was it the king himself that made effort? to buy and see you are conscious or did he send someone else? I did not tell you that effort was made to buy my conscience. Of course, you don't need to tell us anything because it is clear and established. Now, tell me, who are the people behind it? Do not ask questions that will destroy the land. Is it? Ibunze of Ogama land is an evil king. Hmm? Why are they all supporting him? Supporting an evil man? Why? Should I tell you the truth, Abialonama? I don't know exactly what you're saying. Come out, Claire. I want to understand you. All right. Since you want me to speak to you in a clear language, I want you to go to the king and tell him that you are no longer interested in being king. Why would I say that? Because it is the truth. 
Now, if the truth has to be told, I am a better king than you can ever be. <laughs> you are not close to the activities of this kingdom, of the people. I am the one that's always on ground. Sincerely, do you think that leadership is all about noise? Mm. Mm. <laughs> I take it then that you are calling me Obialunam Obialunam Mua, a noise maker. You are my brother. I would not wish to call you a noise maker. But we are twins. Both of us are qualified to be named the crown prince and heir apparent. But only one will be so named. That is the confusion I want you to solve. Save this land the confusion. Go to the king. It's, it's very simple. Go to the king. Tell him that you have surrendered to me. Simple. Between you and I, the one that will be named the crown prince should be the older one. What if I go to the king and it turns out to be that I am older than you. <laughs> you? Older? <laughs> Can't you see? Why would you? How do you? How did you allow such a thought to creep into you? Whoever gave you the impression that you could be older? More reason why we have to wait for the nurse to clarify issues and announce who is the crown prince. We cannot be faster than the elders in council. Okay. I can see you do not want peace. I can see you do not value the peaceful way that I have come to talk to you. I am going to be king. I am going to emerge king very soon. And I will deal with you. You know, I'm going to forgive this overreaction because we are brothers and should not be threatening each other. Wait. Wait, 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 wait. Where, where are you going with your bag? I'm going to see my grandmother in Ibaku. Ibaku? Does this road look like the road leading to Ibaku? Brother Sola has a promise to give me something that I'll give to my grandmother. And that's exactly what I've come to collect. Oh. By the way, for how long are you going to stay in Ibaku? I'll be back in the next four market days. Alright. Is he angry with me? I don't know why he would never treat me as his own younger sister. Don't feel bad about that. He's a man that is in a hurry to do everything at the same time. I've always told him that there should be no hurry in life. He doesn't agree with me, but I know that one day he will agree with me. Hmm? Come and see that. Let me give you the meat you will give to your grandmother. Hmm? Sit down. I have two brothers, but I always feel I have just one. 
The greatest problem I have with you is that you're just too wicked. Ezema, am I the one you're calling wicked? I don't have water in my mouth. It is you I'm talking to. And I mean whatever I'm saying. If you're not wicked, why didn't you tell Obi Alnama the truth? That he cannot make a good king. And what makes you think he cannot make a good king? Wait a minute. No, are you telling me to my face that even before he becomes the king, even before he assumes office, you have already passed vote of no confidence on him that he cannot make a good king? Oh, I didn't mean that I knew that. Uh, this is why you called me. I wouldn't have come here in the first place. Really? What, what, what do you think you're doing? No, what? Go back, my friend. What do you think you're doing? No, you, you want to walk out of me? Who are you to walk out of me as a Who are you? Please tell the deceiver to get out of my way! Oh my goodness. Only in what afternoon you have called me a wicked man. Huh? And now you are calling me a deceiver? In the and that is exactly what you are. Huh? <laughs> 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 If you do not bring him back, you won't pass me. Do you want to face this again? Were you not there when he blocked me? You are making, in fact, you are just making noise. You must bring him back, huh? Where? You must bring him back now because you know, I, I, I'm not blocking you here. No going out here on the bring him out. Now! I ask you again, do you want to face this same thing? Come here. Come here now. Useless people. Always looking for trouble. Still they cannot find Where are you going? Come back now! possibly be doing in your heart. There is nothing as beautiful as beholding the queen in her siesta. I have seen a lot of beautiful women. Oh my God, I have. Not one is as beautiful and as succulent as you are. Just let me. Why are you such an evil man of this kingdom? Why? What nonsense are you talking about? You call this, you call this nonsense? You call it nonsense? Don't worry. I, I know you are alone. I know your daughter has gone to see her mother, her grandmother in Ibaku. So we are alone. 
We can do secret things quickly. See, just just stop this madness before somebody walks in here. But somebody? Someone? Someone? You think I am that stupid that people will be around and I'm here? No, 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 no. I made sure everyone was away before I came in here. Here comes the king to behold the beauty of his queen. Could you please step out and allow my royal eyes to celebrate your beauty? Oh, your majesty. Here comes my queen, the very definition of beauty. I cannot forget the day I found you. I will continue to bless that day I found you. Hmm? Thank you, Your Majesty. You're my king. You're my head and my everything. You shall continue to reign forever, Your Majesty. Thank you, my queen. Ah, my queen, you are sweating profusely. Does it mean that you're hot? It's not well ventilated or what? Um, oh no, Your Majesty. I was actually sleeping before you arrived. The urgency with which I came out is enough to cause anyone to sweat. I like that. All the same, I will have to go in there and make sure that there is free air. Hmm? My queen. <laughs> <laughs> My queen, I can see that you are hot. It's still good for the queen. Huh? You are going to sleep in my room tonight. Hmm? Yes, Your Majesty. Mm. You are mine. And so I should have you whenever I like. Yes, Your Majesty. Your wish is my command. Come, my beauty, come. Come. Mm. That's my own. <laughs> mm. Let's talk it here. Till the night comes. Yes, Your Majesty. Good, good. I'll see you then. Okay. <sighs> All right. <clears throat> Listen to me. If you leave here today, don't ever come back here again. Uh, leave? I, Obiara Mama. Oh, leave? You think I will leave here today without you giving me what I want? There is just... Stop. There is just one reason I have not shouted yet. Don't force me. I repeat, don't force me. But I, I know you will eventually change your mind. And when you do, I will never disappoint you. Does it mean you don't trust me or what? I don't know why I should trust you. You're part of the people destroying this land. I cannot be here with you for long. Uh, uh, wait, wait, wait. I actually wanted to tell you that I have parted ways with your brother. And you want me to be excited about this? You are the one that defines true royalty. And I, 
I've realized that uh, I should be working for you and not your brother. As you know, I'm a hunter. And as you can see, I'm going to the bush to check my traps. If you have realized that you have been living a wrong life and want to change, good for you. I say congratulations. If you want me to teach you how to hunt, follow me and I will do that willingly and immediately. Let us save this land. This is our land. We have no other. You will eventually change your mind about me and I will be available. You know, I'm just beginning to realize that you're not a strong man after all. How, no, how can you say things like that? All geocosis of Ogama, I am a very strong man. Mm. You're a strong man. You're a strong man and every little boy has been knocking you out lately. Huh? You're a strong man. Little boys that you could pocket. Huh? They knock you out. Who is this saying what to have knocked you and what to out? Who is he? Huh? Anyway, um, well, I have already concluded plans to to get new people to work for me. I don't have any problem with that. If you want to get new people to work with us, no problem. But there is something I must have to tell you. Don't think of firing me. Because if you fire me, I am not going to tell you what I have planned. What is it? What are you planning? What have you planned that has ever worked? Huh? What are you planning now that, that will not be knocked out? I am not in a hurry to tell you what I have planned. If you want to hear it, then you have to promise me that you are not going to fire me. Mm. Alright. I will not fire you. What is the plan? That fighter of women that we engaged the other day, and there's someone, both of them were fighting with champs. See how dumb you are. I said I do not want to hear this thing about champs or no champs. No, it won't work with me. I don't want champs. I am not telling you about the champs that we are going to get to fight. I don't want to engage anybody in a fight using champs. I'm telling you a different champ that we are going to get to end all this rubbish. What rubbish are you talking about? What, what rubbish? What rubbish are you ending? People are still making comparisons between you and your brother because your brother is still alive and active. If your brother dies today, they will stop making comparisons between you and your brother because you are the sole candidate. Oh, you see, you see why? You see, sometimes when, when, when I listen to you talk, I ask myself where the thought is coming from. I, I, I always ask what informs your thinking. Because if I call you a fool, you will say I insult you. Because I, I don't understand what you're trying to say. My, my brother is alive. He's strong. He's kicking. He's not going to die today, tomorrow, next week, next year. Where is his death coming from? You know, most of the times when you also talk to yourself, I begin to wonder where you're coming from. Because you are not sounding reasonable to me. I'm so sorry, but that is the truth. I know your brother is alive and active and kicking. Of course, I know that. And I know that he has no plan to die any soon. We are not going to wait for your brother to die. We are going to bring his death closer. And that is the sham I'm talking about. The sham I'm talking about is the sham we are going to use in terminating the life of your brother. So that you will be out of the way. Oh, you, 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 you want to, you want to, you want to kill my, my brother. Oji, oh, you're taking this too far. I, I am taking this thing too far because the thing is far already. You are talking as if you don't know what is going to happen. What if we gather eventually for the declaration and they declare your brother to be the heir apparent to the throne? 
Where are you going to hide? <laughs> of course, that's not going to happen. Of course, you know it's, it's not going to happen. Because I am the crown prince. I'm the, I'm the heir apparent to the throne. I am going to be declared the king. So, you see, you see why I say all your plans won't work. You see? What evidence do you have to conclude that you are the authentic crown prince? The heir apparent to the throne. The coming king. No evidence. You're just speculating. It is possible that we gather that day and they declare your brother to be the heir apparent to the throne and even the coming king. Have you bothered to ask yourself what is going to happen to you? We can end all this rubbish by terminating the life of your brother and you will remain the sole candidate. The man's name is Odua. Odua is a native doctor that lives across the lake. You know, Nungere, we are going to approach him and he is going to give us a shout. This year we are going to end your brother and you will be the sole candidate. This is what I have planned and I want you to begin to see through the eye of the masquerade. I'll be well with you. This is the very first time you're coming to my hut at night. Could you please sit down and tell me what brought you? I want you to please talk to your brother. My brother? What did he do? Please sit, my queen. I'm going to see the king. I stopped by to say what I have already said. Tell him that I am a woman of Ibaku. And we do not take insults from anyone. Obialunama insulted you? Why on earth would he do that? Tell him that if he repeats what happened earlier today, again, he wouldn't like what will happen next. Good night, Your Highness. <sighs> Good night, Your Majesty. What did he tell her? And why on earth does he do things that bring shame to royalty? Ha, ha, why, why are you doing this? Where are you going to? Huh? I don't understand what you mean by where am I going? I'm going home. Ha, ha. You are going home. Why would you do this to me now? Huh? Stay back. Oji asked me to come and give you the bottle of gin he bought from my mother. And I have given you the gin. I think the next thing is for me to leave. Oh, I know the next thing is for you to leave. I know. Eh? I know. <laughs> hmm? I am begging you to stay. Huh? Begging me to stay? Stay and do what? Uh, stay and do what? You're asking me stay and do what? Eh? <laughs> uh, have you bothered to ask yourself why I instructed Orji to send you to me with the drink instead of bringing it himself? Have you, have you bothered to ask yourself why? I don't get it. You mean you asked Oji to send me? Yes. Yes. Because I like you. <laughs> you see? Look at this whole kingdom. Look at this kingdom. There are maidens everywhere. They litter everywhere. I don't see them. I don't even... Look at them. You're the only one I look at. You're the only one I see. <laughs> Maidens of this kingdom are expected to be delivered to their husbands as virgins. Why would you want me to spend the night in your heart? Do you want to deflower me if I meet my husband? <sighs> okay, okay, okay. 
What is wrong if I become that husband? Eh? Is it bad if you're my wife? <laughs> See what we will do. Hmm? We will go into my heart. Hmm? I will lay your head on my chest. Then we will plan. After planning, before morning, we would have reached certain conclusions. Hmm? I know what you're planning. And I'm not ready for it. I'm leaving. Oh, 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 oh. Let me tell you. You are not living this heart this night. Okay? Is That's not. Hey. Hey. The chicken that rests on a weak rafter fence is as restless as the fence itself. Have I, at any point in time, poked into whatever you do in your heart? Have I? What's the meaning of this? What are you doing in my heart? Maidens of this kingdom are expected to be delivered to their husbands as virgins. Why would you want me to spend the night in your heart? Do you want to deflower me before I meet my husband? I thought that submission from that innocent maiden would have weakened you. Why are you showing your brutality to almost everybody? Mm. So, you have been listening with your ears to the conversation I was having with my visitor in my heart. That innocent maiden was never your visitor. You and Oji lured her into this palace with a bottle of chains at this ungodly hour of the night simply to defile her. I want to give you a piece of advice. When you want to mingle with men, mingle with those that have some particles of integrity, I can no longer continue with the original issue that brought me here. I leave it for another day. You leave us for What are you living for? Hey! What is it? Look at this! Look at this! Oh. Look! 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 Where is the maiden? How many questions? Forget the number of questions and answer them. Where is the maiden? Is she inside? You didn't prepare her well. So where is she? Is she inside? You didn't tell her that she was supposed to spend the night with me. You didn't tell her. Now she's gone. Oh, oh that girl is no more my problem right now. What are you talking about? She is no more my problem. I labored all day to bring a girl here this night for us to spend the better part of the night with her. And you allow her to... Oji, stop it! I said she's no longer my problem. So what is your problem? I'm not so lazy. It's now my problem. He has overstepped his bounds. He has to go. Listen, he must go. I have made up my mind. Why did he allow this girl to go? Shut up! He overstepped his boundary yesterday. That triggered my anger. I want him to pay the ultimate price. Ebuana kwa ni ivu mwa kuko ni ya kela mbucha.
the same bond that holds you to the future holds him. Both of you are from the same roof. In fact, I see the same thigh delivering both of you. Odua, you're right. The person in question is actually my twin brother. But that relationship does not matter anymore. It doesn't. It doesn't. The two of us are now targeting the same thing from which I do not want to be dislodged. In fact, Odua, how much do you want me to pay you to ensure that he dies? And uh, most importantly, we want this death to look very natural. We don't want anybody to suspect anything. If possible, let him die in his sleep. Where it is difficult for you to make it possible for him to die in his sleep, let one of the wild animals devour him as he hunts in the forest. Your friend who is leading you is not royalty. I, I'm, I'm sorry, Odua, but I, I don't understand. Why are you trying to communicate me? You can't possibly do that because I am the brain behind this mission. I agree with you when you say I am not royalty. Yes, by birth. But I am now royalty by service. Concentrate on the mission that brought us here and stop digging into people's backgrounds. I want your friend to wait outside at the road. I want to talk with you alone. What do I? I want to know exactly what he told you that made you visit a man at that odd hour of the night. All you paid for the gin and asked me to deliver it to the prince. I have respect for royalty. I have no, I have no other option but to obey. When I got there, he started asking me to, to spend the night in his hut. Where did Oji go after asking you to deliver the gin to Abialunamu? He told me he was going home. And in my presence, he, he started going home. Hmm. Hmm. I can tell you authoritatively that Oji did go home. He came back to the hut. And I can tell you why. They planned to rape you. Hey. Hey. But why would they do such a thing now? I want you to learn from today never to trust anybody that you've not had direct interaction with. Thank the gods that you are still a virgin because it would have ended last night and there is nothing anybody could have done about it. Be careful and be part of the people that wish this kingdom well. Part of the people that would save this land and not part of the people that would destroy it. This is very strange. How can a priest plan to rape a maiden? <laughs> to be truthful to you, you cannot kill that young man with charm. Just like nobody can kill you, you also cannot kill him. 
Why is everything getting so complicated for me? He has the mark of Oga. Oga is the war god of Oga, my people. Same as you. People can only imagine your death. They cannot trigger the death. If you must kill him, you need a physical attack. Okay. All right. So, what do you suggest that I do now? Simply go home and learn to live with your brother. I see greatness in you and I want you to live to see that greatness. If you must kill him, then use a gun. Not and never a charm. My friend told me there is no charm you cannot prepare. Is there any other charm you want me to prepare for you? I am ready to do it. This is Odua of Onungene. Nyekrepoto. Eh? Nkankam umena kwa tuwenyi. Uwanye danda. Okay. There is this woman that I have been trying to corner to my side but she has been proven very difficult is there anything you can give to me to make her give me what I want <laughs> that is simple just the woman <laughs> I got one and lady at the quarter more. Cassis Yakonov, as you see a fenadro. I am going to give you Uri. You will lay it across her path. Once she crosses it, she will be restless. <laughs> In fact, or you will practically make her to donate herself to you. That is what I want. At least to compensate me for coming all the way across the lake. Mm, you are welcome. Mm? Remember, once you lay the thread across her path, do not allow any other woman to cross it. This this meeting is, is taking is taking so much time. Sincerely, and I've come to know what is happening here. Oji, if you do not leave this place this minute, you would not like what I would do to you. Has it got to this? You are not talking back at me this way because of Ondoa. Remember I was one that brought you here? Oji, you are interrupting what we are doing. If you do not leave right now, you know the consequences. Give me one. I don't know. I used to like him not anymore. He is full of evil. Let me get you the thread. <laughs> oh, do I? Ojugo, the beautiful queen my father married. I am coming for you. When I get a man. Um, my queen, I want you to specifically tell me what Obi Alunama did that made you ask me to warn him. I don't want to discuss Obi Alunama. 
I am married to your father and I want to concentrate on your father and your father alone. Did he make any passes at you? Uh, I mean, did he attempt anything stupid with you? Why would you ask me such a thing? There was a plan to rape a girl in this palace last night. Were it not that you came to my wing and I urgently went to his wing, the girl would have been raped. You're not serious. I am very serious, my queen. I arrived just in time to save the girl. You are now the queen of this palace. And if anybody is going contrary to the established norms of royalty, you shouldn't spare that person. I appreciate your confidence in me. But sincerely, I must tell you, I don't want to join issues with Obi Alonama. Obi Alonama, why are you proving to be so difficult? Why? Do you realize I was the one that brought you here? What has your bringing me to this place got to do with the issue we are discussing? A lot! What did the man say to you? What did he tell you? But I already told you. He says I cannot kill my brother with charms. Because my brother and I have the mark of Uga. The warrior god of Ugama people. What else do you want me to say? Well, Nama, why are you lying to me? Uh, why? You people asked me to leave. And I was somewhere. I saw this man rise. And he went behind his hut, came back and gave you something. Oh, that one. Oh, no. I mean, that has nothing to do with uh, what we're talking. It's, it has nothing to do with my brother. It's for an entirely different thing. Can I, can I see what he gave you? I want to see it. Huh? Yes, what he gave you, I want to see. It's not even about you, it's all about me. It's, it's for me. You don't, you don't but Elena, but why are you doing this to yourself? Why are you lying like this? I am your backbone in this kingdom and there is nothing you can do without me. Why? I don't take this thing personal, okay? Let's go. Cool. You know, I will always tell you things. Have I committed anything against you, Your Majesty? You have not. And why did you ask? You don't like me. And I don't know why. Where did I go wrong? Why would you allow such a thought in your mind? I am your son and I'm committed to the progress of this land. I am simply pleading with you to treat us equally and fairly. Are you of the opinion that I don't treat you people fairly and equally? Your Majesty, I made an observation and followed it up with a prayer. If you think I am wrong, I apologize. This is the month of Unzera. People are not expected to cross Ugama Lake at night. What are you doing in Onungene by this time of the night? How will you get back to your village this night? I don't know why you always parade yourself as if you know more than everybody. You don't know more than me. I know everything concerning the feast of Nzira as it concerns not crossing Ugoma Lake at night. I know everything. In fact, don't bother yourself about where I'm going to sleep here in Onungere because I know where I'm going to sleep. That one is not your problem. I came here this night to ask you a very simple question. Why did you insult me earlier in the day? Why? I insulted you. How do you mean? I was the one that brought that man here. And we told you what we want. And we were expecting you to do something. As Odua, 
of Onungen. Why did you ask me to go and wait outside? Is that what you call an insult? Of course, it's an insult. No, you're, 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 is there any other insult that is bigger than that? I am the one that is leading that man. In fact, I am the brain behind all his achievements. And also behind all his failures, OJ. You see again? You know, why are you doing everything possible to link Okosisi of Ogama with failures? Why? Truth is always bitter. You are angry because I just told you the truth. You know what I do? I don't want to go into all this because I can see that you are planning to make me angry anymore. I don't want to get angry, so I don't want to lose my focus. What did you tell the prince in my absence? What? I told him that he cannot kill his brother with charm. If he must kill his brother, he needs a gun or something that will constitute a violent termination. Why are you presenting yourself as if you are smart? Oh no, you are not smart. You are just a fool from Onungene. You are not smart. I saw when you stood up, moved behind your heart, and you came back and gave him something, and you were murmuring to him. I was very far. I didn't hear. I didn't get what you were telling him. Now, can you tell me exactly what you told him in my absence? That is why I am here. I gave him something to handle a different matter which you are not part of and it does not concern you. Okay, what is the matter with this man? Why are you doing everything possible to exclude me from this process? Why? Let me be sincere to you, Oje. You are already excluded. You can never be part of it unless you are Forcefully involve yourself. Do you know what? I don't blame you. I blame myself for coming before you. Yeah, you're not proving to be very important because we came before you and you now think we don't know any other place to go. No problem. I'm going to prove to you that you're nobody. Another client is going to come to me another day. And there is nothing that will ever make me to present anybody before you because I'm just proved to be what it is. And I have a hard one. If you must kill him, then you is gone. Not and never a chance. <sighs> the huddle is high. If I kill him with a gun, everybody will know that I killed my brother. But he has to die. What do I do? What do I do? What do I do? Fugama Grace the Queen. Eh? Uh, I have arrived with the vegetable. Okay. Keep them on the table in my hut. I'm bathing. Okay, my queen.
matter with you. I don't know what is happening to me. I feel somehow. I don't know what is happening to me. I dropped the vegetables and there. Eh? What kind of nonsense is this? I am here for you. Ah, hey, uh, 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 wait, wait, wait. Go and look for the men in your category. I, I, I'm not in your category. You eh? know you are the one in my category. I am your cate in your category, me! Yeah. Ah. Ah, you have to finish what you started. What did I start? What, what, what did I start? Hey. Ah, 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 ah. Ah, oh, I bomba. Come on, anyone before. Why will anyone place this across my door? My queen, this looks like what a child would do. You really think so, your majesty? It doesn't look like what a child would do. My queen, this is absolute nothing. There's nothing in this. You can see I touched that thread with my staff three times and nothing happened, which means there's nothing in it. Your Majesty, please, can you remove it from my door? Definitely. Why not? <coughs> You've seen it? There's nothing in this. But what I'm going to do is to trace the child that did this. Your Majesty, please, you have to dig deeper. Why would a child do a thing like this? I don't think a child would do a thing like this. My queen, you think it could be a charm or what? Of course, it could be a charm. We need to try and know the source. No. This palace is under the protection of Oga, the warrior god of Ogama dynasty. And nobody can think of bringing charm in this palace. No, not in this palace. All right? So, go into your hut and relax. You're under royal protection. If a man from Ubene mm. wants to marry you, will you agree? Mm. Well, it depends on the man. If I see him, I like him, of course, <laughs> I will go ahead and marry him. Why do you ask? A man from Ubene mm. came to our house yesterday. Mm. It's a man he describes as his family members and friends. Mm -hmm. He said he wants to marry me. Are you serious? Oh my God! 
I'm so happy for you. My best friend is getting married. So tell me more. What more money is it? <laughs> it's not happening. My father refused. You mean your father refused you from getting married? Why must he do that? We humble ourselves before the prince of our land. Long live the prince mm. of our land. Long live the maidens of Ugama kingdom. I presume the maidens want to go into the forest to fetch firewood. Yes, my friends. Today is not a good day for it. I would want the maidens to go back home. Your Highness, is there any problem? I mean, why would you want us to go back home? You see, there is a hyena that escaped me today. I actually shot at it, but it still escaped. That animal is fatally wounded and very angry. I know. I'm sure that it will devour anyone that it sees. This is very serious. More than serious. I know the ways of animals very well. That's why I'm coming back tomorrow to this forest to track it down and kill it. But for today, I want you to go back home. Oh, Your Highness. I personally don't have firewood at home. I mean, how am I going to cook today? I will give you enough firewood for today and even tomorrow. I don't want any maiden to go into that forest until I have killed that animal. Thank you, my friends. Thank you very much, my friends. Only God knows how I managed to escape. She followed me all the way from the palace, begging me to give it to her. So why didn't you give it to her? Huh? Eh? Are, are you out of your mind? Give what? To who? How? Obialanama. I want you never to allow another woman cross that thread. No, 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 no. My timing was perfect. Huh? I planned it well. She was in the bathroom. And I knew definitely after her bath, she would go into her room. So I laid it in front of her door. Little did I know that she had asked Agboma to bring vegetables for her. How would I have known? Oh. Let me tell you something, Obialanamma. Uri is going to destroy that woman if you fail to take her. Oh, wait. I should take a woman. Oh, you listen to yourself now. Listen to you. Just listen to yourself. Eh? How? Eh? See, I like women. I know I like women, but not yesterday's women, no. Not archival women. Okay, uh, what will I pay you to free this woman? Please. Adel Nama, you will give me Mwegwise. Mwegwise. Huh? That's enough. To marry five maidens now. That, that's too much. Adeji The problem you are now facing is bigger than five maidens put together. Ori will destroy that woman and definitely will come back to destroy you. Huh? No. No. Okay. Beyond this huge financial demand, 
He's the same you now. What, what can you work out for me? What can you do? Get somebody else to do it on your behalf. Hmm. Who am I going to call? Who am I going to tell to take Agboma to bed? Who? You should realize that you don't have all the time in this world. Go and get the new Yugise. Let me start this job. my mother they are all fine they sent their regards oh, I, <laughs> I missed you too mother you know all the people i met in Ibaku were treating me like if i was a goddess but that <laughs> is what you are my princess mm. you are not just the goddess of Ibanku, my people you are also a goddess of ogama dynasty <laughs> come 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 i made sweet vegetable soup for you really? pick your load pick oh, your load come let's go inside let's go in, let's go in. <laughs> Apart from me, all your co see who is advising you. Who else have you been listening to? What kind of question is that? Um, I've not been listening to anyone else. I, I just feel that I have triggered my own destruction and, and I want you to help me. Now listen to me. If you don't want that sham to destroy you, you have to provide the exact amount he asks you to bring and be sure that you have stopped the destruction. I should, I should, I should give him the money. Do you know how much Nwegui says? Do you know how much? Do you know, I'm, I'm, I'm still so surprised they are talking about the amount. Okay, let me ask you an important question. The destruction that is coming to you and the money he has asked you to bring, Nwegui said, which one is bigger? Which one is larger? Is it, is, is it the destruction or the Nwegui said? Nwegui says a lot of money now. Like he saves a lot of money. Huh? If I put that money together, I, 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 I can marry five maidens. I'm so surprised. Huh? How can he ask for such an outrageous amount? I'm not hearing this, am I? No, you have such a gigantic problem and you're talking about maidens. Now, are you telling me to my face that the maidens of Ugam are better than you in your own understanding of yourself? I don't trust Odua. And if you don't provide that money, this news will begin to spread. And if this news spreads, you are, you are destroyed. You, you are gone. If you will listen to me, that, that my, my candid advice is that you give him the money he has asked you to bring so that he can stop the destruction. I am even seeing this destruction. How can you even, how can you even think this kind of nonsense? How can you, how can you, how can you think this kind of thing? You know, you can't say, well, I mess some things. Odua, this is the Inuegu, you say, that you asked me to bring. Please, okay. neutralize this charm. Let this woman leave me alone. What you asked for is what I gave to you. Huh? Why are you running away from the beast you seek? What? Oh, 
What did you give me? In fact, what did I ask for? And what did you give me? I did not ask you to give me a bomma, did I? Your charm failed. Your charm failed completely. Why are you talking? I don't know why you're just talking, talking. Don't, don't, make, don't provoke me to the extent that I, I will just go berserk now and tell this man that you got a chance to sleep with your father's wife. I will, I will say it. Hey, man, what did I just hear? You didn't hear anything because I've not said anything yet. So I said, you know. You said you, you, said you should bring in Nogise for you to stop this nonsense. That's Nogise for you. So you start work. Didn't hear anything. Start yeah. work. If you are sure that Ojaranama acquired all my theory just to defile his father's wife, then this Nogise is not enough for me to cleanse the abomination. What is that? Huh? Did I kill somebody? Eh? Did I? Oh, you, you want to make me dry? Uh, you want to dry me up? I am not milking you dry because you have already milked yourself out of circulation. How can a human being like you lost after his father's wife? Even being a near. Listen, listen, he was not just lost him after the father's wife. Yeah, you are missing the point. The truth is that he has actually gone to the woman to ask the woman to come and spend the night in his own court. The woman refused and then he went berserk, approached you for a sham to make it work and you cursed him with horror. So, on whose side are you now? On your side, of course. I cannot be an idiot to be on your side and on another side. I can't be anywhere when I'm already on your side. If you are on my side, why are you giving this man unnecessary information? Unnecessary information? No, is that what you think? That I'm giving unnecessary information? That means you don't even know the blunder you committed. You don't know the blunder you committed. That's why you're saying that. Odua here is the only mediator we have between ourselves and the angry gods of this land that are on the verge of destroying you for doing what you did. Understand what I'm saying? We have to provide this man with every necessary information. Everything we know, we have to tell him. For him to know the exact way to go about this cleansing. That's the truth. No, no, do I listen to me. If Nwegi say it's not enough, how much? Eh? Why are you asking him how much? Why? Who will pay? You, of course. Of course, you. Or are you telling me that you don't understand the issue here? Do you want to die? Don't be saying all this thing before this thing will get to the ear of the chief priest. They can involve the chief priest on this nonsense now. What are you talking about? The chief priest is already involved. Uh. Why are you not asking this man how much so we can stop this nonsense now? You're opening your face, opening your eyes. That is not what we need. He's already involved. You can hear that. And listen to me. If this news will actually spread in the land that you were nothing, the idea you actually got a chance to sleep with the queen mother of Ugama Kingdom, it's a disaster. It's an abomination. If people will hear this thing, you can never be king again. Hmm? I am telling you the truth. The only way forward is to ask this man how much. Ego na yakwa. Go stop whoever. Ask him how much. Okay. Okay. How much? How much now? How much? Talk. Onye patalang kwaro simbela jari yolele. You will add Nwegi set to this, making it Nwegi. Nwegi what? Settled. We're gonna bring the money. The kingship is the most important. Forget this money. You have this money, let's go and bring it so that we can be sure that you are the king.